Pirates of the Seven Seas, welcome back to another Loki Games video. On my way back from Liverpool seeing a girlfriend last weekend, I was sort of like walking around the parks or lounge, I thought I'll just have a look in some of these shops, and I found some new headphones. Now people that don't know, my other headphones that you used to see me wearing, um, that, that bit there kind of broke because I lost my temper and I fucking punched myself and it like hit the headphone and snapped the headphone. So now, like when I put them on, the last few times I've worn them, as you can see, they're a bit... <laughs> <laughs> They're a bit fucking skew with. So I thought I needed some anyway. I knew Sennheiser was a good make. And these were going very fucking cheap in the shop that I went in. So I was like, I'm going to pick some of those up. Now I tested them out for about a week. It must be about a week now I've tested them out for. And I thought, why not do a sort of like unboxing review. Just in case any of you guys are looking for some new headphones. So it took me about five fucking hours to set all this up. I wanted, I wanted the camera like, more like here. Like in front of me. But it needed such a wide angle to see this. Like if you could see the table, then you couldn't see my fucking face and if you saw my face you couldn't see the table so I'd have to sort of like hold shit like this to show you so this is the only way I can do it. it's got to be with my webcam so it's a little shitter quality but fuck it anyway I've already taken them out of the box <laughs> and I kind of lost the box as well I don't know where I fucking put it I think I chucked it out but like I said it's kind of like a review as well I've been testing them for a week so I can give you a unbiased opinion now first of all I want to talk about the box that it came in I'm not sure if it's all I think I heard Sennheiser have just got really bad packaging where you just can't fucking get in the thing Thing. It took me about 20 minutes with a pair of scissors to fucking get in this shit. Sennheiser, I know you make good makes of headphones, guys. You don't have to, like, fortify it up like Fort Knox. I mean, all my fingers trying to get in. Anyway, there's the sexy babies. What I'll do is I'll try and do this really professionally, even though I'm not. Do some, like, slow-ass shots over this thing, you know, like the pros do on unboxing videos. There they are, the HD 205s. They're, like, three years old, I think. <laughs> Which I didn't know, because I'm not very tech-savvy. So I just fucking bought them anyway because they were cheap. Now they're DJ ones. They're DJ headphones. So they're mainly for like music and shit. But I know one thing it said on the box. I actually recognised what it meant. It's got closed back cups. Which means it's more isolated. Because I like having like no sound coming in from the outside world. So I can be in my own little bubble. No one can disturb me. Now these are best used for music like I said. And when I read up on it. It said that they're mainly sort of like for MP3 players and shit like that. I was like fuck it. The main reason I got these. Besides the price and the Sennheiser. I make. Fucking hell, I've got a giant head. Can't fit them on. Not only do I look, you know, like a proper fucking DJ. Look at this shit. But the main reason I got these is because they've got rotatable DJ... That one don't fucking work. Oh, it's that one. <laughs> yeah, the reason I got with these is because it's got rotatable DJ ear cop. Oh, it's just one. The other one doesn't do it, as you just saw. Didn't fucking work. But what would you want two up anyway? I mean, there'd be no point using them. <laughs> yeah, it's got a rotatable ear cop there for DJ use, you know. But what I thought would be good for this is for my live streams. You know, I'm always moaning that I can't hear my notifications, my follower notifications and my donation notifications. This, I think this would be really good for that because I can sort of still concentrate. I can hear it out of this ear cop a little bit. So I can focus on the game, but I can still hear when the notifications go off. That was what was going through in my mind when I looked at these. Now, I know you're probably thinking, Mate, just fucking do that, it's the same thing, but... I don't know, I want to feel a bit like a DJ, you know. Looks a bit space age as well. So yeah, I'll go for the price of the name and the fact it's got a little novelty thing where you can spin it. Even though I'll probably never use it. Now, I find, when I finally got it out of the box, I had a little look over it. It's got a 3.5mm jack, you know, the standard one for iPods and iPhones and shit. Now, it also came with a 6.3mm adapter jack, you know, one of those big-ass ones for, I don't know, big music... Shit, I've never used one of those in my life, I don't know what they're actually for. But it came with one of them. Now I chucked the box out, I think I threw it out with the box. <laughs> but YOLO, I don't need it anyway. It also came, I didn't even realise this, it came in a little, I'll put a picture, where's best to put it? Put a little picture there. There's a picture of what the adapter looks like. It also came in this little box with this in it. I'm not sure if that's real leather, I don't think it is. It smells so fucking luscious though. But it came with this as well, I was like, oh look, I need a little fucking carry bag for it. Let's make this look more neat and professional. Look at that. It's got a little Sennheiser logo on it. I don't know if I'll ever use this because, I mean, they're just going to be here. I'm never going to take them anywhere else, I don't think. But, oh, fuck, there it is. I did keep it. That's the one I was talking about. <laughs> 6.3 millimeter jack. That goes on the end of this geezer. How did you get tangled around the fucking thing? Yeah, that goes on the end of this one. Just screws on. You know, if you want to... You've got a big hole. You want to extend it. Yeah, it comes in that little bag. I put it in there once when I first got them, and I took them out, and now I'll just hang them on this thing. Yeah, it comes with the bag. The giant-ass jack that hardly anyone will use. Now, 
they seem pretty sturdy. You know, when I first got them out, I was sort of like, I was all delicate with them. Like when you get a new thing, you like place them down really gently and you don't want to knock them over or anything. Then after a few days, I was sort of just like, yeah, it's fucking game. I'm pulling these up and down, getting the right measurements for my big head. And it seems pretty robust. It does. Uh, doesn't feel like it's going to break if I punch myself in the head in a rage quit incident like the razors, you know? These bits here, these ear cop things, they're a bit, uh, they feel a bit cheapo plasticky. But that might just be because they've obviously not put as much expensive material on it because it's so cheap. So I know Sennheiser are a, a good audio make and they also try and keep their prices low, so maybe that's why. But that's a good thing in a way because, you know, they're nice and light. thing I don't fucking like about these, though, which is good that I've tested them for a week, is these ear cups. Ear cups are the Razor Krakens. They're like a really... So it feels like they're filled with sponge, you know? And they got like, this really thin, smooth leather over the top. So they're very sponge, if you can zoom in on that shit. Zoom in on that, Ben, post-production. They're, like, really spongy, so you can wear these for, like, fucking eight hours at a time, and they're... Pfft, look at the state of these. And you're not going to feel them on your ears. Plus, they go over my entire... Because I've got big ears. Look at this shit. So they go over my entire ear anyway, so there's no sort of, like, after an hour or so, you get, like, bruised cartilage and whatnot. But these are a pain in the ass for that. You can see on the ear cop there, they're pretty small, and they're sort of like, I can feel the sponge inside, but it feels like a harder, sort of more compact sponge. And this weird material, I'm not sure if this is leather on it, I don't think it's leather. This material over the top is like shrunk up, it looks a bit like a bum hole, you know? It's all like taut together, it's all tight, and it feel, it just feels a lot harder. And the fact that because they're small, they don't go over my big ears completely, so they're sort of like pushing against the cartilage. And after sort of like an hour or so on Rainbow Six Siege or something, I have to take them off for a bit. I'm just like, oh my ear. That's the main reason I got them though, because the, the quality of them are really good. What I find, because I've only had those Razor Krakens and I've had these, so don't judge me on my opinion of really good sound, just in case someone else has got them and they're like, it's not fucking really good sound, you should get the T2006 Pro HD Elite or something like that. But to me, they sound really clear. So, I mean, it sounds clearer than the Razor Krakens, that's for sure. Base, the base seems a little bit better and it, oh no, everything seems more sharp and clear, which is why I thought they're going to be good for Rainbow Six Siege. Because you need to like really listen out for movement and footsteps and stuff like that. So I'd say they're very good for that. The only thing I'd fix, guys, if you're planning on bringing out a, like an upgraded version of this, I doubt it because it's been like three years now, is these ear cups. Fucking Dombos like me. It hurts our ears, so fix it. They've probably already done that. I've probably brought out one, like, five since these that have got better ear cops. But that's the only thing. If you're planning on getting some of these, because they're pretty cheap, I'll put the link below as well for, um, you can find them on Amazon. They're going for £35 at the moment on Amazon.co.uk, which is around $50. So if you're looking for some ones that are really clear, you know, if you play Rainbow Six Siege as well, you want to listen out for footsteps, you're on a bit of a budget like I was, I'll leave a link below. You can go to Amazon, take straight to that. And you can have a look over them, you know, if, if you're still a bit dodgy about my opinion. <laughs> yeah, apart from the ear cops, I'm fucking happy with them. And if I ever need to go away with them for some fucking weird reason, I've got a little bag, you know. Carry it with me on the train station. Like a bit of a twat, but fuck it. <laughs> anyway, Pirates, hope you enjoyed. That's a noobs unboxing for you. Hopefully I'll put a bit of a spin on it, you know, to make it a bit comedic. And very educational as well. Make sure to follow me on all these stalker sites on the side here if you haven't yet. And make sure to like and share this video if you give an eenty teensy weenty little bit of shit about anyone that actually knows what this goes into. <laughs> Peace out.